uh, Julie Sullivan, I'm the admin for a uh, Russian part of the uh, movement. Uh, we used to be known as Russian Moms for Natural Immunity. We used to have a Facebook. We got a little worried a couple of months ago with everything happening on Facebook, all the censoring. So we changed our names, name. Um, and we actually keep on changing our Facebook name. <laughs> so you guys are like secret. Yeah, yeah. we're secret. <laughs> and our names like we love barbecue or our pets or something you'll never connect to. Because people were getting worried. And I think a lot of posts weren't making it through. Uh, so to protect the members' privacy. But I'm everywhere. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, Julia Sullivan. So if uh, you know any... Uh, Russians who want to join in, in the mo movement or if you want to see what's happening on the Russian side yeah. of the movement, please find me, please ping me. Uh, most of the posts are in English. Um, it's not just a Russian group. There are a lot of non-Russian speakers that are in the group. And um, I think for Russians, this whole subject has a bad connotation because we all grew up in a Soviet Union with mandatory vaccination. And as a kid, I remember nurse coming um, with the needle to class and our parents not even knowing that that's what's going on and everybody just rolling up their sleeves and getting the shots. And some kids got um, sick and some kids, like there were a couple of um, stories where when children didn't come to school for the rest of the week, but nobody talked about that, right? It was probably 15 years ago. So we, we grew up with the dangers, but even in Soviet Russia, doctors were very sensitive to possible allergic reactions, and it was very easy to get a medical exemption. So essentially right now in California, we're truly in dark ages. We're much worse than what was happening in Russia back then, right? So this is not, um, not a civilized democratic country. Obviously the opinions and, uh, of the parents don't stand the chance um, in front of the bureaucracy of the politicians and the money. So that's it. What, what about the media in, in the United States? What is your feeling on uh, just being in the SB 277 and seeing the way they use the uh, measles, you know, the, what was it, 16 or? Yeah, 60 cases or whatever, 150 cases, right? Of measles, they use that to justify taking away everybody's informed consent. I mean. They bought. They just bought, you know. I mean, and, it's, and I can tell you, so today we've invited a ton of media. We had two press releases going on a week ago. I've personally um, notified a whole bunch of media contact, uh, contacts. But where are they? Right? They're not here. So my understanding is they're, they're probably all paid for. They're probably all told not to cover our events, not to cover us, not to let Americans know the truth. So the only way to spread the truth is by watching alternative media, by um, finding sources on Facebook and Twitter, and by coming to the events. Because online, it's always hard to say what's true and what's not true. So it's very important to get together, to look at the people, to get to know the people, to get to know other moms and dads, and to get to know their stories. Yeah, is there any uh, alternative media that you follow that you want to... Uh... I watch everything. Everything. Yeah. Anybody that you Info really like. Info rule. <laughs> who do you who do you like the most? Where do you go? When Info you, War, Info Wars, um, Info, everywhere. Infowars.com. Yeah. What about Drudge? Yeah, I go there sometime. Okay. So if you're on Facebook or on Twitter, there are lots of links of this being posted. So I try to check out as many as I can, and some sources are more reliable. Um, and it also matters who pays for those deals, who pays for those media, right? So follow the money. Definitely. What do you think of uh, Russia uh, moving into Syria? So I, because I've been living here for such a long um, time now, right? So I don't really, I mean, I, I, do, I don't quite think of myself as Russian, sure. right? Um, at this point. So my views are definitely Americanized. but. You know, again, we need to know the whole truth of the story, and, and we're not getting it either. So it's really hard to judge, it's really hard to make an opinion, right? Because, again, you're getting the news that are paid for. Right. And um, it, it's really hard to follow because they keep changing the names of the different armies. The, right. The ISIS and ISIL and IS, so, yeah. 
it's hard to tell who's the good guy. Right, exactly. Right? Especially over here. We're yeah. over here and just seeing it on TV. So. so we definitely need, and you know, like growing up again in Soviet Union with like one channel, right? With only one set of news government paid for. By moving to America, by bringing us as kids to America, our parents hope for us to grow up in true democracy, right? Where people know the truth. But this is not, this is not what happened and this is not what's happening, right? And I think if more people really knew the truth, um, then we could really make a change. So spread the word, folks. All right, thank you.